are you guys doing? Uh, today's video is actually going to be a vlog. I am attending the uh, ISNA convention that we have here in Houston and I'm about to go inside. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know what to expect. I haven't been to one of these before and I'm pretty excited. Uh, I actually get to, what is it? I was, I was given a media pass to be able to like go inside and um, film. I plan on exploring the bazaar area because there's going to be a lot of uh, vendors and some of the brands, some of the uh, companies you might actually recognize. So, yes! So apparently there was um, some protesting going on outside which made me a little bit nervous. I haven't seen any so far but there are like a bunch of um, police cars everywhere which is um, kind of reassuring because it makes me feel a little more safe going inside. But that did make me a little nervous just to hear about that. And it's just really sad, like, I mean, people are allowed to have their own opinions, but I don't know. I just think that a lot of people are misinformed on many things. All right, we are inside the building. I have received my little uh, media pass. It's official, I'm inside. Uh, I'm supposed to go downstairs in order to go where all the uh, vendors are to the bazaar section. I'm really excited to see a bunch of modest fashion brands because on the list of vendors there were so many so I'm gonna try and talk to as many as possible for you guys and for myself as well and it's gonna be really fun. Okay so this is the bazaar area. Okay, we're officially in the bazaar. It's very quiet because I actually came here very early. It's like 10.30 in the morning right now. YouTube is very chill like that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you see my? Did you see Omar and I at the batting cages? I, yes, I did. Okay, listen. If we start playing, if we start what? Playing again. Playing. Playing softball. Yeah. Will you be there? Oh my god, I will be <laughs> Yeah, but will you guys be able to handle it? Because I'm no joke on the field. Listen, me and we were just talking just last night. We're like, we have to do so I was like, I'm getting Lisa. She goes, You're like my team. <laughs> I'm recruiting her. But you don't realize I played in college. I Alright, so I'm at the Verona Collection stall. They're actually um it's the company that's in Macy's right now. Um and yeah, I can't believe that we're actually here. I actually uh, just did an interview with Lisa. I think she's uh, busy with a customer right now, but look at how beautiful her items are. Just like really effortless items that um, kind of go with like the whole like minimalist lifestyle style clothing. And I think that this, these are like items that are very much needed because um, I, I've noticed that a lot of you guys in the polls have said that you guys want something like simple, something you can wear every day, and I think that they really have a lot of options for that. So let's see. Okay, so here are the um, crinkle scarves. Let's see. So apparently these uh, scarves are like their best sellers, the crinkle scarves. And honestly, like um, a lot of stores are selling this this type of style. Um, they're actually really nice, really nice quality. And I think the colors that they've chosen 
are really beautiful and like um, very now. And then I was also surprised because I didn't know this. They have like workout clothes as well, which is really cute. They have really cool styles. And then this is like one of their maxi dresses. It's really nice and long. Covered up and very stylish at the same time. They have a pink one as well. Pink and black. And then these, these look so comfortable. It's like this like uh, mock neck sort of dress. And they have it in this like really nice like beige, uh, light beige sort of color. And then they have the same in the black. It's really nice and it's really long too. Let's see. Yeah, I just had an interview with Lisa. <laughs> and uh, she was actually running um, some of her customers, some of the people who are walking around in the convention through her collection. So. What, do you have anything new you want to show us? Oh, uh, we have the athletic, athletic line coming yes. out. So. This is extremely, we're excited for this. Uh -huh. um, we don't have all the pieces out here, just a few sample pieces coming out. Um, I'm wearing the box dress. Yes. Um, this is the Aurora top. Uh, this, this is coming out on Macy's.com. Um, we have some. Um, this is an awesome piece of that design. It's you know a modest top for those that don't want it too too long, but this is a great piece that still covers. You know. Well, those tie front tops are really in style right now. Yeah. Beautiful uh, top. We have some uh, high waist maxi skirts. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of pieces. Out. Nice. I, I was really excited because I saw um, some of the workout pieces you have, and they're actually like really, um, really comfortable. And they're long too. It's so hard to I find know. something <laughs> long. So I'm really excited for it. Yes. I'm gonna check with that. Right? Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. <laughs> She's super busy. I happened to catch her at a good time. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna run through some of the other vendors we have here. Here. Got so many, so many things going on. Let's see. And it smells like uh, oud. <laughs> I don't even think I'm pronouncing that right, but that's okay. Well, I got about twelve dollars for the one, uh, for one pound yes, star. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Here we go, hyping with them. Everyone. Okay, so I am here at the Mosaic by Ellie stall and I'm here with Dee and she's gonna run us through her whole collection and give us some ideas on what they have in store. Hi, thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, thank and welcome to my booth. <laughs> uh, we are uh, designers and uh, creators and designers for uh, women's modest wear. Uh, we have clothes ranging from formals to vacation wear to business wear. Uh, we also have um, a real strong message with having ethical uh, creation of clothes where things are made in a quality manner and in a way where people are, the artisans are being appreciated and paid properly. Um, there's unfortunately a lot of... So yeah, yeah there's a lot of people that are taking advantage of, right, the industry? Right. Yeah. Um, you know, you always hear on the news things like sweatshops and people not being paid fairly or doing it fairly. So we're, we're one of the people who are very keen on eliminating that from our prominent industry. We want people to have a closet where you know things are made expertly and properly and with quality. And I really believe in having um, fewer better pieces in the closet where you have a few uh, but really expertly sharp items where every morning you love your closet. And most of us have a closet full of clothes but nothing to wear. And our goal is to create fewer pieces, classic pieces, where um, you know these pieces will last for years, and there's and it eliminates the waste. Of it. So. Yeah. so it's like true halal fashion. Thank you. Yes, that's what go. we're striving for. Here we go. Here with you guys, um, our line. We have beautiful clothing that is meant for the modest and modern woman. We have um, things in mind for the women who want to go, and we have a lot of things made in New York. And our beading items are made in top beading house in India, the same bead house that Vera, Vera Wang goes to, Badger Mishka, 
really beautiful quality, really beautiful pieces of work, works of art. Um, we have really fun items, such as like a duster, mm, which has That is beautiful. Done. Thank you. The embroidery. It's hand embroidery, and it's like a fun piece you can pop onto any outfit. We also have it in black. And then we also have like a fun dress, which is a very classic line, very trendy. We have beautiful um, beaded vests. These can be worn like this, or it can be worn as a jacket with a zipper in the front. We have a fun dress. has pockets, ladies. <laughs> And they also have this like really uh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we have a really nice, uh, like simple uh, yeah. dress, and it's all. Oh, all oh by my hand. god! I didn't see the bottom till now. Yeah, Look at that. All done by hand. Beautiful. <gasps> That's an entrance right there. Yes. And then we also have um, a cape. I'm wearing this cape. You can pop it on any outfit. Today I chose to wear a jumpsuit. And stay tuned. We have a lot of more things in the works. All right. Uh, we were also featured on Women's Wear Daily, WWD, the fashion bible. We were really excited. They did an article on us. Um, it was designing for a better world. It was just about our mantra and our message. Um, and we were really excited to be part of that. Great. What did they write in the article? Like, what were they like saying? Um, they wrote about how we want to um, design for the modern woman, and and we want to produce in a way where it's halal, where. Um, Things are made with luxury, things are not made in sweatshops, things are made expertly through experts and we appreciate the art of instead of um, you know, having uh, items that were made mass produced. So we do small ones. Okay, so Seba's gonna run us through some of the line here. Yes. Yeah, so some of our key pieces are beaded pieces. So I think you guys already saw the cape. One size fits all, throw it on top of anything, all hand beaded. Also comes in white. Selection of other tops here, and they're like, um, let's see. So wh where do, where do they reach? At the waist or at the? Yeah, they're a little bit cropped. So you can okay. wear it with a dress or a jumpsuit. Beautiful. I'll just give you a little bit of a sample here and show you our favorite one. So this is my favorite one that we have. That is really pretty. This is how it looks on okay. men formal way of wearing it with the zipper in the back uh -huh. or you can wear it as a jacket. Flip it, wear it to the zipper in the front, you can throw it on top of a pair of jeans, dress. That is really cute. And you guys have like uh, maxi skirts, right? Yeah. See? So I'll show you. This the is my favorite skirt. color, by the way. It's like this really nice, like pinky, dusty rose kind of color. Yeah, that's our rose gold. Yes. So the skirts that you're talking about, this is our high low skirt. Okay. It comes in this chaos print, black and green. You can see it on the mannequin as well. It's paired with the skirt. It has a little bit of flare. Uh huh. The high low flare and has pockets as well. Pockets, yes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Saba. Thank you. thank you. I'm gonna make sure to link you guys down below. Mosaic by Ali will be in the description box. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. You guys having me. So, my everyone, I am here with the uh, co-founder and designer of the app Karani. Awesome. So, tell me about your app. What does it do, and who can use it? Sure. So our app has been designed for people that grew up in America learning how to read the Quran but unable to understand what they're saying. Um, so we designed this app to help people understand the most important words that are being used in the Quran and basic grammar concepts. Um, and so we do this with bite-sized lessons, we have word review, um, and we use stories from the Quran to help uh, people understand the words that they're reading and listening to as they not only read the Quran, but also praise Allah. Perfect. And like, what, what is so cool and so different about the app? I see that it has like some gamification going on. Yeah, so the, the approach that we took was we understand, you know, people are really busy these days. People don't have time to like take a week or take two months off and study. Not everyone has that time. Um, so we designed it in a way so that people could jump into the app, spend five to ten minutes, and then jump out. Um, and because we're using stories of the Quran to illustrate uh, these words and to illustrate the stories, we have illustrations that were designed by a really talented designer. Um, and we also have 
a lot of gamification features. So we have badges, we have streaks, we have uh, points that you can get, um, and we're tracking the, the main part of this app is that we're tracking the words that you're learning, and we're showing them to you uh, repeatedly so that you can easily remember them and recall the information and memorize not only the the meaning but how they're used and where they're used. And can you compete like with friends or anything? Right now? <clears throat> yeah, so that's actually a really big feature that we're thinking about adding after you know experiencing this uh, this convention. Um, one of the things that we've been doing is we've been having people come here and compete with each other with our word review feature. Um, and so our highest score so far is 36, and it's been pretty hard to beat. We've had Beina teachers come by, Kalam oh teachers come God. by, <laughs> and they've, uh, they've had a hard time uh, dealing with that. So it's been, it's been fun. Um, we really want to build more features into it so that families and friends can like compete with each other. Um, so we're really excited to do that. Yes, because I think that the whole competitiveness, it just gives you the extra like feeling to just get involved in games. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Beat other people, that, that's why I play games. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> We, we really want to make this like an addictive game, right? But in the in a healthy way and yeah. for a good cause, you know? Where, where everyone is kind of, you know, they always have these things in their hands and they're walking around, they have a phone on them all the time. You know, we spend so much time on our phones. Why not do something beneficial? So this is, this is what the app looks like. Um, this is the home screen. We're using stories. We're categorizing all these lessons with stories. So we have the story of Mariam. We have the story of Ibrahim. We have the story of Adam. Um, and the way it works is you go into a lesson and it's going to tell you that these are the words that you're going to learn in the lesson. Um, so these words appear 3,900 times and they make up over 10.9% of the words in the Quran. Um, so once you go into the lesson, we have illustrations because we're telling stories. We want, we want this to be easily digestible. We want people to enjoy using this. Um, so we're using stories directly from the Quran. To, uh, to to illustrate the information that's that's coming in the Quran, um, and then we have exercises. So this is an ayah. You can actually interact with the ayah. We're we're choosing very specific words because we want you to learn the words that are the most frequent and that appear the most in the Quran. So you can interact with these words and you can fill in the blanks and you can basically, as you interact with it, you you translate the ayah and you learn the meaning of them. And then the really cool part is it's going to ask you, it's going to quiz you on these words. And it's going to ask you, okay, allati, does that mean the one who? And I'm going to say true. Um, so that's essentially how it works. Every lesson has exercises in it. Um, another really cool part of this app is we have word review. So the app is going to be tracking the words you're learning and it's going to categorize them based on how often you get them right and how often you get them wrong. Uh, so if I hit begin, it's going to turn this into a little game and it's going to show me Quranic Arabic words and it's going to give me answer choices. And I have 60 seconds to answer them. So the whole goal of this is to answer as many as I can within 60 seconds. Um, 60 seconds is, is not a lot, but the whole point of this is to make it easy and quick and fun for people to jump into the app, revise their Arabic vocabulary, and jump out. Awesome. That's it. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. What was your name again? My name is Hani. Hani, okay. Yeah. So this is Hani of, what is the name of the app? Quranic, Quranic app. Arabic Made Easy, available on iOS and Android. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so right now I'm in the uh, Leole, it's pronounced Leole stall. Right here. And these gentlemen are gonna, what, what Hello, are you gonna are you? Yes. So I'm like, um. Alaikum salam. So can you tell me about um, Leole and uh, where you guys are from first of all okay. and about the clothing line and everything yeah. sure uh, we are coming from turkey all the way to turkey actually we don't have any spot in uh, houston yes uh, we, we we based in basically istanbul so we have uh, abayas uh, dresses uh, skirts tunics and uh, lastly uh, shawls yes. so uh, basically we are uh, special in uh, abayas and yeah, you guys have really beautiful stuff. You know, I think it's very interesting. Like in 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 Turkish, you guys Turkish people say shawls, and then uh, everyone else is like kudab kudab. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've, yeah, actually we do. Like I, I've shopped on like Moda Nisa, and I've actually I, I went to you guys' website. Mm -hmm. um, and it's labeled as like shawls. So I'm like, where's the hijabs? Where's the hijabs? Okay. <laughs> so, Maybe we should, we should figure out that. Yeah, because I think more people are being more aware of Turkish mm -hmm. um, 
because a lot of Turkish design is actually very modern. Mm -hmm. and yes. Uh, it's not yeah. as like some people are trying to go away a little bit away from the ethnic sort of mm -hmm. design, and this this style is actually really pretty. I'm, let me show you guys. Um, design is make it uh, for elegancy. Yeah, it's very elegant style. Let's see. Let's see, so these are the these are some of the scarves. This is it's like a marble print glittery scarf right here. It's really pretty. These are some of the abayas. These are dresses. These are our latest collection. Okay. Which is the Shin abaya. Awesome. It has a salmon color, which is very popular. And the flowers on it are custom handmade. Nice. Our customers really like it. Really? It's beautiful. I love the color. It's a really nice color. It's like a very faded peachy color. And it has like gold buttons. Or these gold snaps over here. That's really pretty. Look at that. So which one is your best seller? Which one sells the most in your store? Uh, which one sells the most? Uh, we have this Abaya, uh, which, which is like the most popular. The stones on it uh, like attracts people. Yeah, it's actually very popular. I've seen this a lot where they like kind of like space out. Like they'll put like pearls or like rhinestones and they space out. It comes out. with Sorry. three colors. Yeah. We, like, we have two colors and uh, we have uh, gold. And we have pink, which is sold out already. Uh, so this is what the buy looks like. People love this. <gasps> so it's a, it's a it's a sash, right? It's yeah. like a little belt that holds it over. It's a little belt. Would you mind holding it so I can? Get it? That is beautiful, and it's floor length too. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys so much. I will make sure to uh, email you guys okay. and. Um, Put the link to the video so you guys thank can you check so it out. Much. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. So <laughs> Michael. All right. So that ends this vlog. Hopefully, this was like super um, fun for you guys. I had a really nice time meeting up with different um, Muslim-owned businesses. And thank you to ISNA for allowing me to come in with a media pass. I really appreciate that. Um, it was super convenient to come here because it was in Houston. I was really excited. Um, I got to meet with yeah so many uh, business owners, and it was so fun. And it just really goes to show that like we should we should all be doing the best we can to support as many as possible because a lot of them are up and coming. I'll make sure to link down all the people that we met in this vlog. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Assalamualaikum. Bye.